Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time for me to embellish another one of my quilt blocks from my old quilt block party series. If you remember, I did a series where I made 20 quilt blocks, crazy quilt blocks, sewn onto a foundation and I picked through a predetermined stack of fabrics so that most of the fabrics were repeated throughout to make them cohesive. Now I am embellishing them. I've done two. This is number three. Seventeen more to go after this. <laughs> what I feel like doing today is some hand stitching with embroidery thread. Very simple things like maybe X's going up along here, and maybe something somewhere else, and then maybe a button or two, maybe some lace, I don't know. We're just gonna start with some embroidery. Battery was dying, luckily we are next to an outlet, <laughs> so we can continue. I'm going to uh, just do some simple embroidery. I, there are various sizes of needles that you can use. There are actual embroidery needles, but I like to use a needle with a very big eye, and as long as it's pointy enough, it's going to work. I don't separate the strands of my embroidery thread. I'm just using it at this thickness. I do have an embroidery hoop if I feel like using it, but I don't know if I'm going to feel like using it. So I'm going to try it without. Okay, the eye is big enough that even I should be able to thread that. <laughs> I'm not going to make it too long. Oh, I made it kind of long. All right, so let's just try making X's up along this line. I think that will be cool. And I'm sure there are many ways to do this, probably proper ways. I don't know if I've ever had anybody show me how to make an X. I'm just going by my memory of what an X looks like. <laughs> just gonna make an X. So I'm going up. Do I want it to be just that small? Wow. I made a lot of thread there. And then let's go down up here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks like the beginning of an X. Where are you? Can you see that little pink thread there? Now I'm going to go here. And I don't care if it looks like it's stitched by a three-year-old. If it looks like an X, I'll be happy. And I'm eyeballing it, and I think it belongs there. Yeah, I really cut my piece too long. I could shorten it, but I won't. Look, we have an X. I'm just going to continue. Let's see, should I space it out a little bit more so I don't have to make as many? I think I will. Let me see. How about maybe like up to there? And across to there. Looks like this X will be bigger. I'm okay with that. And right there. Right there looks good to me. That's not half bad. So I am just going to sit quietly and do this and let you watch. I want to show you a little trick that I'm doing. It's hard for me to know where to come up. So what I do is I look at the top first and I'm going to stick my needle through the top to the bottom. Now it gives me the hole down here that I know to go through. Easy as that because it's easier to see from the top than underneath, obviously. Now I'm just going down that way. And again, I'm going to mark my hole that I want right there. Just push it through the fabric. And it gives me a hole right there that I can see. Do love. Is what it looks like on the back except for where I screwed up here at the beginning it just makes little lines the way I'm doing it I don't know it's working for me I'm going to try to make the X's get a little bigger as I go because I think that would look kind of cool especially where the fabric goes wider down here so it would be cool if the X's get bigger going that way. I'm just going to go out a little bit further each time. I don't know if I could.
could have planned that any better. That's like exactly what I wanted to see there. Just some X's. I do like it very much. So I'm just going to tie that off in the back and do something else. I actually wish that the X's stood out more. Like I would have probably liked it better if I would have used a dark color. But these are the colors I'm working with. I'm just happy to have at least that. Now we'll figure out what else to do. Hi again everyone. It is the next day. I had to stop working on this yesterday and I have come to the conclusion that I'm doing stuff that is like way too conservative to my liking for a crazy quilt embellishment. The X's are, you know, barely showing. I like them, but they're barely showing. So I might do something to make those stand out a little bit. I don't know, but I'm just going to try to force myself to get crazier. For these, I guess I'm trying to keep it simple because I know I have 20 blocks to go through. <laughs> what I thought I would do is take some of this lace and stitch that right along here so that it you know, partially covers this that has that nice blue flower in there. So that'll be pretty funky. Let me just cut a piece and we'll go over to the machine with that. And then what else can I do? I might sew, oh, do I really want to sew like a button on each X to make those X's pop out? That just sounds like such a horrendous task. <laughs> Let's see what I could do. Oh, I have so much stuff, and I just went and got more things from the cellar. Ooh, elastic, I need that. All right, let's start by going to sew this lace on. Trying to stick to one camera today, so I'm just moving this one back and forth. Okay, I switched to clear nylon thread. As much as I hate working with that thread, it's really handy for stuff like this because you can stitch over everything and it doesn't show. So I'm just going to, um, do a zigzag over the edge of that lace. And just trim and trim. Did you see any of that? I don't think so. I just trimmed there and there. Different camera angle. Please forgive. All right, while I'm right here, let's think. I think I had the camera off the whole time that I sewed this piece. I just stitched a piece of lavender between the gingham and this floral print. Again, quite conservative, but I'm doing my best <laughs> with what I have available. And now I'm deciding on what to do with these X's. I'd either like to sew a button. Well, I don't like to sew a button, especially that many buttons, <laughs> but I think it would look good. Or with a bead in the center of each of those X's. But I'm thinking buttons would pop more. Ugh, whose idea was this? <laughs> Something has to be seriously wrong with me for me to attempt this. <laughs> I have a plan. I have a new way to sew a button plan. I am just putting random buttons on the center of each one of those X's. I'm not sure exactly what you can see. Did a little tiny one on the end. I don't care what the colors are. And the ones that have four holes, I'm only using two of the holes. Ain't doing no four hole buttons. So um, let me get my needles, two needles. I'm going to do something bizarre and I'm going to show you my new attempt at how to sew a button on. Let's try this. First, I moved all the buttons off and over onto my board in order so I don't knock them off. I took regular thread because it has to be kind of thin. I cut a decent sized strand and I folded it in half and in half again because I only want to pass through the button once so the thread has to be strong enough to hold the button. I found two needles with fairly big eyes but that still fit through the tiniest buttons and I threaded both of them. <laughs> And I'm using dark green just because I want to. I'm just going to stab each of those needles in the top of that button where I want that button to be. Oh, this might work. Pull them both through. Oh my goodness. And then just tie a knot. <sighs> That's awesome. 
Now if I wanted, I could just use a thicker, tougher thread like some dental floss or something. One button, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go. So I'll show you what I did with the thread. I just cut a length, fold it in half, fold it in half again. I know, I, I need a needle threader. I have one somewhere. I probably have 30 of them somewhere, but let's look for a needle threader. Oh, I found one if it's not broken, and it's not. They break fairly easily. Oh my god, how do I see that? Okay, I stick my needle threader through, and then I put this through there, and then... Hey, it worked. Well, what do you know? Let's do the other needle. This is probably way too much work. What am I doing? I don't even know how to do this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass. Big time. Okay, second button. <laughs> Stabbing it on both sides. That did not work because I pulled harder on one side than the other. Can we get it? Can we save it? We did. Whew. Oh, there's not one part of me that wants to continue with this. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going just to go back to the old-fashioned way. I'd rather thread just one skinny strand and go through the hole a bunch of times. Let's see if that works better for me. But that was fun to try something different. And it did work. I'm taking the next button. Let's stick this in here first. That's not too bad. Leave a nice tail there. Up through one of the holes. Down through another one of the holes. And repeat. See, that's the part that I just don't like. Going back up and down through it. I'm going to go just twice and call it quits. I think I'm going to just finish this off camera and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I did not leave. I sat here and did all these because I knew if I got up, I would never come back. <laughs> I kind of found the system I like the best. I just cut, I don't know, that's probably like more than 12 inches of thread there. And I just double it over once. Then I pass the whole strand through my mouth so that it sticks together. Isn't that a lovely vision I just put into your head? All right, where's the crazy ass hole on this stupid thing? Oh my God, it would have helped so much if I had better lighting and the right glasses. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. What the hell? It was a good, see, I do much better when I'm not on camera because now I'm like struggling. And I know I'm going to get so many comments about how to thread a fucking needle. I mean, I've gotten so many suggestions. Rub it in soap. Rub it in earwax. Lick everything. Oh, I kind of do that part anyway. <laughs> and uh, hairspray. All kinds of things. You know, it's funny. I just did this whole thing. It did not take me too long. And now I can't thread this frigging needle. There we go. Please, please don't go away. I guess I have performance anxiety. So since the thread was doubled and then I just passed it through once and now it's doubled up again. So it's four threads thick. I should say four strands thick and that's enough. I just go up to where I want to start and I'm doing just two holes of the button and then I just go down and I can see exactly where I want it to go. Pull through, snip and I tie a square knot. I can't even do that with you guys watching. Why am I having such a hard time? You would never know that I just accomplished so much in such little time and then I can't freaking do a thing. Oh my god! That's 30 minutes of my life I will never get back. <laughs> but I like it. I like the little buttons now. 
how can I show you guys? I can't. It's supposed to be crazy. Now, even though I would like to do more, I think I'm stopping. We added some lace, we did some hand embroidery, we added a shitload of buttons, and we're done. So <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see me continue to struggle with this series. It will be a struggle, but I am enjoying it. So please subscribe, come back. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.